and welcome back to another video here from the Offcut Garage in not so sunny Australia today. This morning, perfect weather, 50 amps outside again, but now a little bit of cloud, a bit over 10 amps outside now. But here on this early afternoon, we are here for a test. We want to test, we want to test the, um, this one. We want to test the Heltec 10 amp active balancer again and want to see if it really can do 10 amps. Now you will say, Andy, hang on, you've done this test already. Yes, absolutely, we have done this test already, but this time it's different. As per your suggestions, I have now discharged all batteries, but one of them is fully charged. And I've still got the um, power supply connected to this one battery here and trying to recharge it to uh, 3.65 volts. Full power, fully charged, maximum voltage and all the other ones are empty. While in the test before it was the other way around. I had three cells fully charged and one was absolutely empty. And we could measure only 4.5, 4.8 amps going into this empty battery. And people said, well, maybe it is the other way around if you have only one full cell and it can spread all the love into the other cells, it will actually show us then 10 amps. And this is what we are going to test today. I know, it's crazy, right? But hey, I'm almost doing everything you are telling me, so let's do it. Uh, we just have to wait for cell number three here to go to a 3.6 something volt. Um, and then we can start our test. Oh, cell number two is really low. Look at this, 2.5. And I will discharge number one and number four again with the light bulbs, just to make sure they are really low. And then we start our test again and see if we can get more than 4.8 amps out of cell number three going into the other battery cells then. Do you reckon? I don't know. I I have very little hope only this will work, but we will see. Okay, I think we are ready. So let me show you here on the BMS. So uh, cell number one, cell number two, and cell number four. Um, well, at 2.5 volts, 2.68, and cell number three is at 3.57. So we have a deviation of over one volt. Yeah, this is something which usually would never occur in a battery pack unless something is totally wrong. And um, because the Heltec active balancer here um, balances 100, balances 1.5 amps per 100 millivolt deviation we have. So 10 amps divided by 1.5 gives us 6.66. So it's a 666 millivolt deviation should give us the maximum of 10 amps. And we have one volt deviation, so we are far over the 600. So we should see, we should see the maximum of 10 amps now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what happens. I have, oh yeah, here, I need to show you that as well. So cell number is our most negative, where the BMS is connected. Cell number one, two, and three. This is our full cell, which is still charging at the moment. And this is our balance lead here. This one, which goes, which goes through our clamp meter to the connector into the balancer very soon. All right, let's um, turn on the amp meter, put this one on zero, zero. Okay, I'll take off the charger here as well now. So there's no additional power coming in anymore. And let's see. Okay, let's plug it in and see what happens. This is now measuring the power coming out of cell number three, which is our highest cell in the pack. Okay, so there's nothing happening because there's no light here. Um, I think you have to turn on the sleep switch, turn off the sleep switch. Okay, let's see. When the light comes on. Um, hello? Hello. Oh shit. What's going on now? I think it's not, it is not working. Why is the, why is the belt, Heltec balancer not working here? What's going on? What is going on? It was connected to the pack before and everything was fine. Why is it not working? Cell number three, cell number four is our positive here. Why is it not? Jeez, come on. 
Okay, we try again. Connecting it. Come on, light turn blue. Oh, for f sake here. Really? What is going on here? Okay, let us quickly um, put the capacitive balancer on and measure the current and see if it actually works. If something is wrong with my cabling here. Um, now there's no light. I think the overall voltage is too low maybe, huh? It's not going to work, guys. I think these balancers are not turning on because the voltage is so low. We are at around 10 point something volt only. Uh, 11.3 11 and it doesn't look like they are turning on. Neither this one is turning on nor the other one. The cabling is all fine. I've measured the voltage is here. Everything is good, but they're not turning on. So I have to, I have to slightly recharge cell number, cell number one. Shall we do cell number one? Just a tiny bit. And then hopefully the um, active balancer will turn on once this voltage is rising again. See the light flickers when I plug it in just for a second. No, maybe not. Zero. Okay, this is our balance cable. Zero amps going through here. Okay, let me just connect here cell number one for a moment. Just to rise this a little bit and hopefully we see some balancing action here. I just leave the camera running now. I don't want to miss the moment when we have 10 amps here on the clock. I don't know which position does what actually here, so I need to switch back and forward from time to time. So we are 2.7 volt, still nothing. Please come on. Ah, here we go, here we go. Light is on, the light is on, we are active. There you go, the light. And we can see four amps coming out of cell number three, going into any of the other batteries. So this does not give us more amps either. Three empty batteries. Number one, two and four empty. Number, number three is full and number three is getting discharged now under four amps. It's already tapering down. So maximum disappointment. Okay, let's turn off the balancer here and let's um, try this one again. Uh, this one is not turning on either. Okay, let's uh, recharge number one just for a moment again until this light comes on here on the balancer and see how much this one actually transfers. That is very disappointing, guys. That is very disappointing. I mean, what the hell, Helltech? What do you think? It's a 10 amp balancer and it pushes only 4 amps across. Still no light. Still nothing. We still have 900 millivolt deviation. Come on, turn on. Turn on. Let's try this one again. Yep, yeah, light comes on. 3.88 amps. Maximum current. Out of 10. Oh, guys, how disappointing is that? It took me... Oh, this one is on now. This one is on. 4.45. This is actually almost one amp more than this one. Is that correct? Yeah, I think so. See, it's tapering off as well, but it, it pushes actually more amps than, than, than this active balancer, which actually costs more. So that's the same result as with the other test, when we had three full batteries and one empty. We could see this one is actually pushing more amps than this one. Ah, that is not good. So I think I can give this one here only 0.5 stars because it's working. It is a working device. It is not faulty and it has the sleep switch, which actually I should give it probably two stars because the sleep switch is actually pretty handy. The, BM, the active balancer will turn off if the whole battery pack goes under a certain voltage. So this one does not balance all the time. In contrast to these ones here, which are balancing all the time, the light is on all the time there. I don't know the exact voltage when they are turning off and on, but they do it, I have seen it. The blue light turns off and you can reactivate it by turning on this switch here on the side 
and it starts there and it starts balancing right away again or if you have it the other way around it um, stops balancing if you have a lower voltage in the battery not sure what the threshold is let's let's do one and a half stars i think the feature is not that great for the 10 amp for the 10 amp Heltec active balancer it is as disappointing as a dali bms it's not good all right guys as always thank you so much for watching thanks for all your great support here on the channel until the next video when we do not an active balancer test you stay charged stay safe and thanks again for watching see you then bye bye that is so bad i can't believe it that is really bad yeah look at this 3.2 amps that is maximum disappointing